Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we will be making some saltfish akra. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now, let's get cooking. These are all the ingredients that we are going to need to make the acra. The exact amount will be in the description bar below. We have our salted codfish, has been soaked overnight, flour, all-purpose flour, onion, green onion, fresh thyme, garlic, and hot pepper, some fresh Italian parsley, and some green and red bell peppers. The first thing I'm going to do is to boil out my codfish. Now, as I said before, it was soaked overnight, so I am just going to do it one time for about 10 minutes, and then I will go ahead and just mince it up, and it's ready to go. And you can see this card is boneless. When you're making acra uh, or fritters, you want to make sure you get a nice codfish that has no bone in it. Otherwise, you can get little bits of bone in there, and that's not very nice. See, the water is boiling, and now I'm just going to add the salt fish in there. Now, I'm going to put it down from the skin this way so the salt can come right out. Cover it back, and then we have to watch it because sometimes it will overflow if you leave the lid on. I am now going to put everything in my little food processor. So we'll see how much I can put in there at one time. Now my pepper, I'm just gonna cut it and take the seeds out because I don't wanna put the seeds. Check it. Didn't get this piece in there. So this is all done. Chopped up nicely. So I'm just gonna leave that until I'm ready for it. This has been cooking now for oh, more than 10 minutes, so it's about 15 minutes. And I'm just going to empty it. So the reason I'm only going to boil it out once is because I still want a little bit of salt in it. I don't want to take all the salt out. Okay, so that's all done. Now I'm going to chip it up. Let's just chip it up. We're just going to smash it. Just smash it like that. Okay. So there we go. Just keep chipping, chipping away. And see how flaky this is. It's really good codfish. Nice and flaky. And boneless again. So easy to flake. You just crush it, crush it up, really fine pieces. See, that's it. All there is to it, we're going to take that over and add the rest of our ingredients to it. Now I'm going to add my spices. And these are nicely chopped, so they're nice and fine. And that's the way I do it. I don't like to bite into big pieces of pepper and stuff in there. Now I'm going to put my flour into this. So we're just going to stir that in. 
and now I can just add a little bit of water to it that looks so pretty and we get some more water so you don't want to add too much water because you don't want to get it too runny and then you still don't want to get it too doughy so just keep mixing until it's a nice consistency you see it's nice and you can just see spoon it up okay and that's it looks like it's ready now next step we're going to go over to our stove and we're going to start some frying once i'm finished mixing i'm just going to let that rest for about 10 minutes before i start frying it okay guys i'm going to start frying take a look at this just look at this how pretty that is isn't that nice that's what's going to go in there first i'm going to get this on and what you want to do is to pour your oil and let it get nice and hot. If you put enough, you don't have to even flip them. And I'm using safflower oil because it's a very light oil and it, it's not gonna leave my acra uh, greasy, like to soak it up too much. So this is why I'm using this particular oil. So I'm gonna let it heat up very quickly. And then I'll turn it down to about a medium. I'm just gonna test this oil. So what I wanna do is just drop a little something there. Oh, that looks like it's hot. So I drop that in there and it looked like I'll just leave it another minute. It's cooking, but one more minute should be okay. So my oil is just about ready. I'm gonna get this paper towel and put it in a plate because the acra is gonna go right on top of this. So the oil can, whatever oil is sitting on top, it can just soak it up. All right, and let's see. So you can see here, this is golden brown, so it's ready. Once this is really hot, I'm gonna turn it down to about medium because you want to get the acra cooked inside. I don't want to just put it in uh, and then it's on high fire. It's going to brown very quickly on the outside. The inside might be still raw. So it's turned out to a medium. And I'm just going to take a spoon and just drop drop them. So this is it. You just drop it. As you can see, the consistency is really good. It's not running all over, so it's staying in place. Look at that, that's good. You want to get it nice and brown before you turn it over. So let's see. Yeah, that can cook some more here. Acra is one of my favorite, favorite little snacks. I remember, you know, growing up and whenever we went out in the afternoon, ladies would be selling this by the street, the corners, and this is good. We have it with bread or you can eat it just plain like that by itself or with bakes or, or fried dumpling. Some people call it fried dumpling, we say bakes. Um, it's really good. See that, they're coming up nice and brown. So we're just gonna flip it. And this part, you can see it's still could cook a little bit more so we'll see after it's done on the other side I'll probably just turn it over for a couple more minutes and let it cook some more let's 
see this. This looks like it's all this batch is done. So you can see the nice and golden brown. I'm just gonna take them off. Okay guys, I can't wait to dig into this thing. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's good. Just the right amount of salt, enough heat. Mmm, not too much pepper. Oh, it's delicious. And there you have it, our delicious saltfish okra. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again next time.